Hi everybody, Dave Herbert from Mr. Herbert Science Class. And today I'm going to talk a little bit more about one-bladed props and one-bladed rotor heads on uh, helicopters. First of all, I'm only doing this to experiment. I'm not promoting you guys to go out and do it. I'm not telling the real manufacturers to go out and do it. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, having fun with my models, which is what I like to do. I'm going to explain the theory again, as it was explained to me a long time ago. First of all, when you have two blades going around, the first blade creates some turbulence. The second blade comes around and runs into that turbulence. Okay, so if you take away a blade, you've got all this clean air in it. And from my findings on my Hyperfly, which is fixed pitch, you saw the video, it works perfect. One rotor blade. Holy mackerel. My Blade 400 did some stunts with that. Works perfect. One blade, one tail rotor on that one. There's a loop. The gyro is a little heavy. And now I move to a bigger helicopter. This helicopter weighs about six pounds. It's quite a bit heavier in my quest to, to try to make this work and see how it works. Now what I have found out though is as the theory goes, if you take away one prop, you need to increase the length of the other prop or increase the pitch. Well, I don't have a longer prop and I didn't want to hit the tail rotor, so I've increased the pitch. I'm just going to show you what I've learned today and we're going to go out and give this East Guy 900 a try and uh, see if it'll fly with one rotor blade and how it does. One thing I noticed is this helicopter, all my helicopters are quieter and smoother and for that reason it would be a good way if you had to sneak up on somebody with the helicopter this is probably one of the quietest you'll ever do with one blade so let's go see how it works and thanks for watching folks successful experiment.
fun to play with stuff, isn't it? Well, I proved to myself that the bigger the helicopter, it still works. And uh, it's good enough for me, especially at my age.